I want to get back to the situation with Excel Energy. Obviously a very difficult day already. 500 individual power outages have been reported. Right, and those are impacting 75,000 customers. Excel spokesman Mark Stutz joins us on the phone. Mark, where are your main areas of focus right now? Hey, well, first off, let me give you some updated numbers. It's a little bit worse. Uh, actually, we, we're working about 7,000 or 700 uh, uh, 80 outages, and it's up to about 128,000 customers wow. out. So they are throughout the metropolitan area. We do seem to see some more uh, instances of power outages up in the northwest part of the city, but this has been a pretty, uh, the storm's been hitting all over the area with pretty, uh, pretty uh, major intensity. Mark, what can you do while this is going on other than count up those who are without power? There's very little, I would imagine, that you can fix during this type of storm. Tom, you're right. We, we actually have about 500 employees and contractors out on the street, but the big problem, like at the airport and other locations with RTD and CDOT, is, is the visibility factor. It's almost as if we're working in the middle of the night, akin to working in the middle of the night. Uh, you almost have to get right up to where the damage is occurring to see it and then determine what you need to do to fix it. So it is, it is uh, very problematic, but we're, we're trying to, we're getting to it as quickly as we can. You know, we're also encouraging customers to certainly, obviously, with a, uh, in about a half an hour time span there, we went from 6,000 to 125,000 customers out. So um, those who need to report outages to us, we're really encouraging them also to use our, our website or our mobile app in addition to try to call us. Lots of calls coming in right now. And Mark, what is the website so people can use their phones to access if their home computers aren't up and running? How can they get to that website to report outages? Just www.xlenergy.com and right at the very first page you'll be able to see uh, uh, locations where you can report the outage and get us the information uh, right there. That's the best way to go right now is through the website. So Mark, what was the situation before this storm? This thing had been forecast for a few days now. I imagine there are some preparations Excel Energy can do, but, but most of the time it's just wait and see what happens, I guess. Yeah, we actually activated our, our storm assessment center last night at 5 o'clock, and we we had a lot of crews on hand overnight, uh, a lot of extra folks in to deal with anything. It, it stayed pretty calm till about 10.30, and then right with your weather predictions around that 9 to 10 uh, time frame, it, the, the things just really uh, hit us pretty hard with, uh, with outages around the metro area and around the state, for that matter, too. And so we, we had the crews in. We have them ready to go. It's uh, It's a... It's an assessment and response and recovery mode right now. We'll be doing that throughout the evening. What do the next couple days look like for you? This is a fast moving storm. It arrives this morning and then it's wrapping up in the middle of the night. Will the next several weeks be, be difficult in terms of your repairs? Would not think so. Um, uh, we have a pretty good idea what, uh, you know, we're getting on top of it right now in terms of knowing what's out. Uh, you obviously take care of the bigger pieces of equipment first, the main distribution lines, and then work your way down from there. So uh, for some customers, it, it, the potential is for a, a couple days. I, I wouldn't suggest weeks, but it could be a couple days, especially as we get down to the individual homeowners and those who have may have suffered damage even beyond our systems, uh, losing a mask to their house or something of that nature. Um, so. It, it'll probably be a couple days, but we should get the vast majority back in, we would think, you know, as soon as possible. And once the storm lets up, we can really move pretty quickly. And without getting a chance to get an eye on everything, I imagine most of the damage done is done by wind and weight, trees and the like, taking down lines? Well, yeah, it, it is the wind. Uh, the wind has been the unusual thing this time. And, and, and then the, just the slow recovery, because it's harder to, it's harder to assess in this type of storm what damage you actually have. Um, access isn't a big problem right now. We can still relatively get around town, although that does slow things down. But it's just getting in there to assess it and then uh, knowing what you need to do and doing it quickly and safely, making sure that our, uh, our employees are safe and we get the power back as soon as we can. Absolutely. Mark, we appreciate you and, and all your employees' hard work to get power restored to everyone. And, boy, we're, we're hearing all those details coming in from our email tips and callers, so we know you are as well. Stay safe out there. Thank, Thank you very much, Tom and Amelia. You know, we were taking a look a few minutes ago at that uh, shot of Coors Field, and I was uh, struck by the fact 23 days. Oh, <laughs> 23 days. 23 days yep. till the home opener, and uh, hopefully it'll be a vastly different day than uh, what we're experiencing today, as you can yeah. see. Uh, what the what the field, what the stadium looks like. 23 days, uh, a lot's going to change. So hopefully we'll get some sunshine uh, when the Dodgers come to town for the home opener. That's April 5th. Uh, it'll be nice to, to just feel baseball hey, on a we're day just, like this. We're just watering the grass. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Somewhere Mark Razzin, <laughs> the, the groundskeeper, is smiling. Thanks for the free water.